Hi. In this video, we are going to see about the difference between delete and drop in the SQL. So these are the two commands which are really important and we are going to use in a daily practice while working on the database. So maybe you are working as a Oracle DB or SQL developer or as a Oracle developer. In this situation, we need to understand the difference between the delete and drop. We are going to see this thing in a practical as well as in a theoretical way. So first of all, we are going to see about the delete. Delete is mainly useful when we want to delete the data from the table. We can delete all the records from the table or we can delete specific record from the table. For that we need to use the WHERE clause. By using the WHERE clause we can also delete the specific uh, data. Let's say we have a 10 rows in the table and we are more interested to delete the only two records. So by using the WHERE clause we can delete two records from the table. But for that we need to use the WHERE clause. And second thing is about the drop. Drop is mainly useful when we want to delete all the tables all the tables means uh, the specific table i am talking about the specific table so when you delete the table it will also delete the all records now the basic difference is when we use the delete command it will not delete the table structure table structure will not delete it but when we use the drop command table structure will get deleted i hope this is pretty much clear now so what is meant by table structure table structure means i'm talking about the number of column and their data type we can check it by using the desc table name and if you are using the commit and rollback so commit and rollback can be used with this delete so let's say you have deleted some record and it was a mistake from you and now you want to revert back all those record you can just do a rollback it will get uh, you will find all the rows which you have deleted will get revert back but this commit and rollback will not be happen in terms of drop in terms of drop once you drop the table you cannot roll back it that is a big problem So I will just try to repeat it one more time. We are using the delete command just to delete the records from the table. We can delete all the records from the table or we can also delete the specific record from the table. Drop is mainly useful when we want to delete the table itself. While dropping the table it will delete all the records and the metadata or we can say the table structure will also get it deleted but with the delete table structure will be there itself even though we if you are deleting all the records from the table but still you can see the table structure will be there itself we can use the commit and rollback command so that uh, if in case we are making any mistake or anything is happening we can commit it we can roll back it but once you drop the table you cannot commit or roll back it let us see this thing in a practical way. So this is a Oracle 12C uh, Oracle database installed on the Windows platform and we have a table customers. Here I can see there are three records which are the part of customer table. So first of all we are going to use the delete command. Delete from table name where id equals to 3 so the id this is the record which i am going to delete it 
okay so it's customer underscore id here you can see the third record has been deleted now if i'm just roll back it after the delete and let's try to check again i can see the third third record has been came back so this is the main thing we can use the rollback after the delete now i'm going to drop the table but before that i will just show you how we can delete all the records at a time delete from table name customers this is going to delete all the records here you can see all the records have been deleted no rows found but if i'm just doing it roll back roll back completed and we can get back our data this is the beauty of the delete now we are interested to drop the table drop table customers we have dropped the table now just try to roll back roll back completed it is showing and select star from customer but still it is showing that select star from customer table or view does not exist even though it is showing that roll back complete but this is not for drop the dropping of the table so one thing which you need to understand that after the delete we can roll back it but after the drop we cannot roll back it even though if i'm trying to check the metadata cs umers i'm not able to find the table itself because it has deleted the metadata also so drop command will delete the metadata table structure as well okay so this is the main difference between delete and drop i hope this is clear now